I'm Richard Williams. I'm the author of A Curry with John Peel. People believe that you can do things, and I think it's a message for, for all young people that however difficult things are, you can still do stuff if you want to. And, and that was a sort of feeling that we had at that time, and I hope that, that kids have still got it today. We made a lot of mistakes that were car crashes in their own right. One guy in one of the bands said, well, what's it called then? And I said, well, I don't know. We haven't got a title for it. And another, another person said, well, the only thing that, that Southampton's famous for is Derby Road. Yeah, we're indie. We're fighting the music establishment. We're fighting for people who haven't got a voice, just like the women's rights groups are trying to fight for, for women who are being exploited by pimps in Derby Road. Right? And it, it had this fabulous feeling of symmetry. And the guy who asked the question said, well, that sounds good. And that was how it was born as Derby Road. But as you could possibly imagine, not everybody in Southampton thought Derby Road was a very good idea as a name of an album that was going to advertise the music of that city. The bottom line was to get it played on Peel. And there were local bands and local artists and musicians around at that time who were prepared to take those sorts of really experimental risks. And we wanted to show to people you know, beyond Southampton that there were bands around that could do that sort of stuff and deserve to be listened to. Well, here I am again, bronzed and fat and happier than I can say to have an extra hour with you every night of the week on Radio 1. The evening finished and obviously he's, he's been doing sets from 7 o'clock onwards till 11, 11.30 at night and we're giving him some tea and biscuits because we're poor students. Uh, the guy's hungry and he said, well yeah, let's, let's have a chat but is there a curry house that's open nearby? At the end of the evening um, when the bill came, he's, uh, I got my wallet out to pay and he said, no that's my treat. Um, poor, poor students doing indie albums is what you should be doing. Um, I'll pay tonight, and he did. Um, I was somewhat gobsmacked, to put it politely, but, but the guy actually paid for my curry, um, and that's a memory that certainly stayed with me very vividly indeed. If he believed in the music, he'd play it. If he didn't believe in it, he wouldn't. And that level of independent creativity doesn't exist very often, and everybody I knew loved the guy and what he stood for and what he played.